In this video, I'm going to show you how to render a list with 100,000 items without any performance problems. Here is the list with 100,000 items. As you can see, when you scroll down, there is no loading or anything slowing down. To achieve this, we're gonna use something called virtualization, which will only render what's visible. Instead of rendering all 100,000 items at once, we only render 15, 20 items that are currently visible in the viewport. And this logic is going to help us render this many items seamlessly. And the best part is, it's just going to take a few lines of code. We're gonna start from absolute scratch, and I will be explaining every single step. So, let's get into it. So here I have my empty React project with Tailwind inside. Let's take a look at the project. The public folder is empty. Inside the source folder, I have this empty app.jsx file with a text. And this is pretty much it. It's a completely empty React Tailwind project. So before we start, let's install the packages that we are going to use. As I mentioned earlier, to achieve this seamless rendering of lots of items, we need to use visualization, and Tenstack has a headless UI for that. It's called Tenstack Virtual. So Tenstack is a framework just like React. You might be familiar with it, even if you are not. Everything it provides is very simple and easy to understand. Let's click on Get Started and click on the installation. We're going to use this command to install the React Virtual Package. Let's open a new terminal and paste this command. And this is all we need. Now we can use npm run dev to run the project on the browser. And for now, this is how the project looks. You're gonna start by importing a hook from React Virtual, which is use virtualizer. So this is the hook we are going to use to create virtualization. Next, we need to create 100,000 items, which are just going to be text elements. So we can create a items array. And using the from method, let's set the length to 100,000. And for every single item, we are going to display this text, which is going to say list item i plus 1 because arrays are zero index we add 1 and this is basically going to be displayed as list item 1 list item 2 and so on now that we have the items that we are going to list we can create the function let's export default it the function's name is going to be virtualized list so inside this function the very first thing we need to do is to create a parent ref because Virtualizer needs to keep track of the scrolling so that it can basically decide which elements are inside the viewport and which are not. So let's create a parent ref. Let's use use ref from React. For now, we are going to set it to null. Next, we're gonna create another variable named row virtualizer and we're going to set it equal to this hook that we imported before use virtualizer and it is going to take some configurations such as the number of elements it is going to render in our case it's going to be a hundred thousand so we can set the count to items that length next we have get scroll element which is going to be set to the parent ref that we have just created using a anonymous function. This is a function that returns a scrollable element. And finally, we have the estimate size, which is a, another function that returns the estimated height of each element that we are going to render. In our case, it's something like 56 pixels. And with this done, we have created most of the virtualization logic. So now we can return the UI. First, let's create this background div which will be a flex container, center the items, set the minimum edge to screen to make it cover the entire page, set the background to gray 900 with a padding of 4. I think we have a small reference error over here. The app doesn't know what React is, so I think we need to just import React from React, and this should fix it. Now, inside this div, we're going to create another div, which is going to be the parent ref, so let's attach the parent ref as ref for this div. To create a scrollable list, we need to set some fixed height and width, which is going to be 900 to 500, and set the overflow to auto. Let's create some shadow. 
and set the background to indigo 600 text white now inside this div we're gonna need another container with a dynamic height so the height of this container should change depending on how many items that is going to be rendered inside it and we can do it by setting the style height to row virtualizer get total size and this is basically going to get the estimated size of a single element and it is going to multiply it by how many items there is and let's position it relatively and now the most important part which is rendering the 100,000 elements so the entire point of using virtualization for something like this is to only display the current elements that are visible on the viewport and this is what we are going to do instead of mapping over this array and listing 100,000 items at once we are going to access row virtualizer and use get virtual items and we're going to map over it and for every single virtual row we're going to create this div because we are using a map we need to provide a key so let's use virtual row that key position its absolute flex item center and center the text set the width to 100 percent padding x4 and let's use a border bottom now these are going to be the list elements and we're going to match the height with the estimated height over here so let's use style and set the height to a 56 pixels to correctly position all the list elements we need to set the transform to translate ui which is the y-axis and we're going to set them to start from the virtual row and finally let's display the list item numbers let's create another div and set the width to 100 percent create a span with the font medium and inside from the items array for every virtual row we are going to display the index and there is a little typo over here this is going to be 900 pixels and that is it before we finish let's do a quick recap of everything we did first we have installed the package react virtual from 10 stack and we use this use virtualizer hook to create a virtualized list we have a array with 100,000 items with the text list item 1 2 and so on and to display every single element inside this array we created this virtualized list function we have a parent ref and we have used the use virtualizer hook over here we set the count to the number of elements inside the array that we are going to display we get the scroll element and set it to the parent ref to create a scrollable list and we set the estimated size for every single element which is 56 pixels for the ui we have this background and a parent ref with some fixed height and width this is basically the scrollable parent ref and right over here we have a container with a dynamic height and we get the dynamic height by using this function get total size from 10 stack and it basically calculates the height of this div depending on how many items that is going to be rendered inside and also the size of every single element it basically multiplies the estimated size with the item number so this is where we use virtualization we render items that are only visible on the current viewport for a better performance and using the styling especially the translate y virtual row start we basically make sure every single element appears in the correct position now let's see if it works fine as you can see we scroll down thousands of items and there is no stuttering there is no loading or slowing down and here is the 100,000th item let's also see how this looks in the dev tools here we have every single visible current list item over here and there are no 100,000th items loaded initially but as we scroll down you can see the nav divs are getting rendered from the bottom and as we keep scrolling new ones are getting rendered and the old ones are not getting rendered anymore and this is basically how virtualization works i hope you guys find it helpful and enjoyed it thank you for your time 
and I will see you on the next video.